five for you. Federal regulators are urging people who visited a country struggling with the Zika virus to stop donating blood. The FDA wants to protect the U.S. supply from any possible contamination. Now, the Zika virus is spread by a type of mosquito common in the Caribbean and Latin America and may be linked to a deformity that leaves new newborns with abnormally small heads. Right now, there are 31 cases of the virus in this country across 11 states. One of those patients is pregnant. So today, we wanted to bring you an in-depth understanding of what the Zika virus is and what it would take for you or your loved ones to catch it. So we went straight to the experts at the Cuyahoga County Board of Health. And our Chris Flanagan is here with what we've all learned. Well, Frank, world health officials expect to see millions of cases of the Zika virus this year. But unless you travel to Central or South America, you're not likely to be one of them. The virus does not spread directly from one person to another. A mosquito has to bite a person with the Zika virus in their bloodstream, then bite someone else to infect them. The mosquito that transmits Zika has a very low population here in Ohio. And even if one of them does bite you, you could still be fine. Most people who are even bitten by an infected mosquito with the Zika virus do not even become ill. They're estimating that one in five actually become ill. So, you know, it's a low infection rate with people and they feel run down, get a rash fever. Um, it's not causing many fatalities, but again, the biggest finding in the last couple of weeks are these birth defects they're finding. Yeah, let's talk about those birth defects because it's really scary for a lot of people. If a pregnant woman catches the virus, the virus can pass through the amniotic fluid and interfere with how the fetus's brain is developing. That link has yet to be proven, but there is a high degree of suspicion. And for pregnant women or women who are trying to get pregnant, if you don't have to travel to one of the impacted countries, again, in Central or South America, don't. Frank? All right, thank you, Chris. By the way, if you already have a trip booked and are worried about traveling to affected areas, airlines, they're making it easier for you. Here's how. United and Delta will let some concerned travelers cancel even postponed trips, and American Airlines will let pregnant women change their plans if they have a doctor's excuse. The exact policy for each airline differs, so we place the links for you on our app.